I, I think good creative constraints make for good ideas. Respond, you know, give your, either get, go get a brief from somebody or give yourself a brief, you know. And when you start to, when, when you have to like respond to something, when you figure out some, you know, when you give, again, when you give yourself uh, the boundaries, you know, figure out what your canvas is, like, and then push up against the edges of it. Oh, and also, um, d deal with emotions, don't deal with technology. I, mean, I know that we're here talking about, about using this technology in a smart way, but the, the only smart way, the only lasting way, the only meaningful way that you can use it is to communicate to other humans. Like you're not, it doesn't matter that you're the first people using this stuff, it, because someday this stuff is all going to be boring and old. And what's going to matter is that you said something with it. You know, it doesn't like, people still watch movies from the 40s and it's not because they were like, you know, spectacularly well edited, it's because they were, they were, they expressed something, you feel it, you know. And um, that is, you know, we're, we are often mistaken for being um, novel or because we are unique and, and there really is a big difference. Like, we don't, we don't go and find new technologies and then figure out what can we do with this that no one's done before. We say, what does this allow us to do that we couldn't before emotionally? Like, what, like what's, what's the thing we can communicate with this that we couldn't before? And, and uh, it, it, while you, you know, they're very similar ideas, there's a, a big, big difference in, in what types of work you'll actually make when you think that way.